side of Beckett's gate. The red light is on as Fryer Risk now occupies his stall. Starter Michael oh. Vickers with the button. And the gates are back. Racing in the last. Touch of silver will be snagged right back towards the tail from his wide draw. And the first to go, Regazzo Doro. No one really keen to lead. Capo Doro. Woodsville going up there as well soon after the start. And likewise, Cruishan as they get going. Gunner Go was able to quickly drift across onto the rails up on that first corner. They've walked the first 400 though. Luke's Gold just searching for a bit of rain behind those. And then no saying it. Friar Esk and Kalur Bazaar ripping and tearing back on the outside of Frangipan. Patty Monster. Our mate Alan settling down last is Touch of Silver. Well, they go to the 1200 there and the speed had been very muddling early and left in front. Capo Doro and pulling it. Capo Doro led Cruishan. Over on the inside Regazzo Doro third, Woodsville fourth and then came the favourite Gunner Go. A length and a half away at the 900 then came Luke's Gold. No saying it. Tucked away down on the pickets. A length away to Friar Esk and they're being followed by Franja Penny Monster as they head by the 800. Kalu Bizarre touch of silver and our mate Ellis near enough to last. 700 from home in the last of the day and the leader over on the inside Capo Doro about a three quarter length lead at this stage from on the outside Cruishan just being niggled at to stay with him and the pace has gone up a cog or two. It's entitled to be because they've just dawdled. Over on the inside then came Regazzo Doro with his ears ridden off coming into the home bend. Fourth is Woodsville followed then by Friar Esk who's coming around the outside of Gunner Go who was able to get into the clear in the straight though and he lets Cruishan down he quickly loomed alongside of Capo Doro at the 200 and here comes Friar Resk he's starting to run on Gunner Go I don't think could win with 100 left to run and Friar Resk went to Cruishan Cruishan fought back Cruishan and Friar Resk Friar Resk and Cruishan Cruishan kicked and won Cruishan has just won from Friar Resk and then Gunner Go third from Touch of Silver Kalur Bazaar the two greys were getting home when it was all over from Woodsville no say in it uh, they were followed by Capo Doro, a long way back to our mate L, further back in the field, Regazzo Doro, Luke's Gold and Frangipani Monster is amongst the last of them to salute the judge. Double for William Pike, Cruishan has fought back tooth and nail after Friar Risk looked as though he may have had his measure Friar Risk's rider, Paddy Carberry there just getting unbalanced on the neck of Friar Risk as they went to the line in his endeavour to try and get him to get his head down and fighting back Cruishan, which had raced up on speed there when no one really wanted to be there. They just jog trotted early. 150-181. It's a slowly run 1800. And Cruishan for Simon Miller ending the day with a treble, a double for Pike. And he wins paying 650 and 240 over Friar Risk. Patrick Carberry, 260 and gonna go. Alan Kennedy, $2 even. Fourth is number eight, no say in it. So a short neck, one and a quarter the margins, 11, 5, 3 and 8. Cruishan scoring a commands. Lucky mascot gelding, raced by Mrs. K. Warner and Christine Simpson Stokes. And Simon Miller rounds out the day, the third leg of a training treble. He won the feature race as well, the Miss Andretti earlier on with the Kuiperinia and uh, Pike really having to lift and get the best out of Cruishan who did show plenty of resolve too because Fryer Risk looked for all intents and purposes as though he had him covered at the 100 metre mark. No sectional up just yet. I think it might now be there. 36-1-0. 36-1-0 there. And it's a 150-195, a pretty slowly run 1800 there to round out this afternoon's card. But Cruishan posts its fifth win from 17 appearances. Well, let's go down to Gareth, who's been a man of many hats this afternoon. And he's about to catch up with the winning trainer in Simon Miller, who's... Uh, New chapter of his training career in WA is off to an absolute flyer and well done to him on a training treble. He's had a big day at the office, Simon Miller. He's taken out the feature with uh, the Miss Andretti with a star mare in Kuiperinia and Kruishan. This horse has been really consistent in this preparation and that was a great ride by Willie Pike. Summed it up perfectly. No speed, sat outside the leader and it was a good fighting victory. Yeah, W Pike at his best. So um, Connections are really happy when, I, uh, when they saw that he was on because they were... A uh, huge fan of his, and it'd be interesting to see what he comes back, because I still don't think he stays. I know he won, but no tempo, and I'll be curious. If Willie says he stays, then we're away, but that was wrapped. Good ride. Was that the plan to sit outside the leader or race forward today? No, I just left it to him. 
Um, every start, I just left it to the hoops because I just didn't want to drive him to a certain position and force him to do it, and then be that that be the reason for why he didn't finish off. Because I still got a major query on trip wise. Uh, so just look, I just said, well, have him, have him where he's happy. And as it turned out, he's, he's a genius. He summed it up, and they weren't going quick. He's been another horse at your camp that's had a really consistent prep. Yeah, he has. Yeah, all the horses are racing really well and they're consistent. So, uh, and, and if they've been tailed off, um, there's been a genuine reason. So, worst performer today was Scalpel, but I just think he, he's had two goes in the blinkers and he's horrendous. So, we'll just go back to the drawing board there. But the rest of the team's done really well. Well done. Thanks, Gareth, and thanks to uh, all my staff. They do a marvellous job once again. Well under Simon Miller there and Willie Pike. Back Pike, drink what you like, and geez, he's got a habit of winning the last. Macca keeps on saying it, Darren McCauley, and he does it again. And the crowd over the fence, they love Willie. They cheer his name. He is the movie star of WA Racing. He brings up a double and he catches up with Matty Kelly. I'm a little bit distracted by William's kids over there. I felt like I want to go and have a chat to them more than I do William Pike. But that was an outstanding win by Cruahan. Put him in the right spot, challenge late, and he still found. He did. A uh, bit of credit to the horse. When the challenger came, he, uh, he fought. Uh, I think he wanted it more than the second horse, and, and he got the result for us. And the uh, little ones are just behind the fence here. They're pretty pleased with how Dad's gone as well. Yeah, they're thinking a new dinky car on the way home or something like that. Nice. Well done to finish today. Thank you. William Pike there. He's picked up his 52nd winner for the season. He's 31 wins ahead of Chris Parnham, who's in second, and he's just had a month off. Mm. That's he, unbelievable. Yeah, he dominates proceedings here um, in WA, Willie Pike. There's no doubt about that. And there's some great shots of Willie Pike. He is the punter's power. And Selfie he, time. Yes, he, he takes out a double at um, Ascot today, and everyone loves him being back at the races here at Ascot. That wraps it up here at Ascot today. It's been a really good day of uh, racing and uh, had a ball there covering the um, racing today with Matty Kelly and I think Simon Millap was probably the star of the show. Three winners on the card, including the feature with Kuiper A couple of other really good performances, but S Miller, uh, a treble and Pike, a double and a few others. Alan Kennedy also had, uh, had a good day there. I think he owns the day, does a Simon Miller. Should be a pretty big 2018, you'd think, for the Miller camp. And, well, I rinse and repeat that mm. for, for William Pike. He looks like he's in set for another massive one as well. Enjoy your weekend, Matty. I'll be back at Pinjara tomorrow afternoon with Scotty Embry. Until then, um, have a wonderful night there over in the east and also here in the west. And promise, Benny, I'll, I'll get a new hat.